Okay, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Today I'm going to bring the species profile video. And that video will be on Devonario, well actually De Devario adequins, also known as the Giant Dano. I probably pronounced the scientific name wrong. I'll have it written in the description. And I'm probably also going to insert a few photographs in this video with uh, descriptions and other details in it. So um, the Giant Dano is an aquarium staple. It's a very popular fish. It's a very common fish. It is, one is a fact, it lives up to its name, and that is the largest dano that is commonly available. I know there's a few other species that are also about four inches long, like giant danos, but giant danos, they're three, four inches usually. And I've had heard reports of six inch giant danos, but I've never seen one that big. I've seen plenty of four inch ones, though. And um, the giant dano is basically a fish you want that adds activity to your tank. So um, you want to keep them a shoal. I only got a shoal of four since I can't find them where I am since I'm kind of very far north. But um, usually people say shoals of four to eight or so to keep them uh, really active. And one issue you can have with these guys when they aren't in a group is that they might harass our fish and attempt to get their fish to swim with them. So they're not aggressive, they're uh, passive, but they only get aggressive when they're alone. And they are very active as you can see here. So, I'm going to say that this here, these guys are another indicator fish of the amount of oxygen you have. Because when the oxygen gets depleted, uh, they shut down quite a bit. So if your tank has a good oxygen content, your dano should be darting around really, really quickly. Now, as for um, gender differences, the uh, males are these slim, trim build ones. While the females have these uh, kind of pot belly like build. But other than that, the male and female are about the same size. This little guy right here, the male's a bit younger than these females, I assume. Because I've always seen them about the same size. And they're very fast and hard to film. And um, when it comes to feeding, these guys will eat all your standard foods. Um, one thing I want to uh, give you caution about is these guys will attempt to swallow pellets. And uh, they swallow shrimp pellets here, but I got shrimp pellets that are soft. So if they swallow a hard pellet, they might have trouble eating it. Uh, another thing also, these guys love earthworms. They can surprisingly, they can actually fit a pretty good sized earthworm down their mouth. So they do like to eat earthworms. That's a good uh, live food you can collect for them. Make sure to clean the worms properly and make sure the worms aren't too big. And um, as for compatibility, these guys are basically a good community fish tank species. They go well with our medium sized fish. And um, you should avoid small fish because um, they'll eat them or they'll attempt to swallow them. So that's one thing very common is people buy giant danos and the giant danos eat their neons. They are a good fish to go with uh, grammys from Asia. They go well with cichlids, even very aggressive cichlids. And the reason why they can be put with very aggressive cichlids is because they can act as a ditter fish to reduce aggression in between cichlids because cichlids will try to chase the, gram chase the danos, but the danos are extremely fast and the cichlids simply can't catch them. And uh, another fact about the giant dano is um, it's not as warm water as some of the other uh, South American members. Uh, I mean, North, I mean, well, I'm a little off track. They might have been a brain fart since I haven't done one of these in a while. It's uh, not as warm water as some of the other Asian carps, carp family members. They don't like water that's more than, say, 26 degrees. Other species, like cherry barbs, they tend to be able to go a bit higher. And that, but these guys, you keep them at about 24 or 26. And they have uh, the pH range for them. I'm not exactly sure, but they seem to do fine in pH between 6 to 8. I'll uh, post some info at the, in, the, in this video also. And I'll also do a link to a profile on our site. These guys are just, they're just hard to film to keep, uh, to, like, keep the video on. So the Giant Dano, this is the most common big shoulder that people get and very quick moving very agile as I've said before so it's not aggressive it's not really there's nothing really wrong with them so these are good fish they're also fairly easy to take care of so this is a alright beginner fish and one thing you have to make sure is you have a good length good tank length so I'm saying don't have a tank shorter than say 36 inches you know, 48 inches would probably be better. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.